good morning. And Thursday is Blue Jays coffee mug day. <laughs> okay. How did we get to this place? Well, we're going to have to watch the rollback. And I did come back to the model table for a while last night. And, uh, yeah. Got a jig rigged up here. I think I talk about it in the rollback. Or at least I hint at it. <laughs> yeah, these episodes are all sort of running together. And I can't really remember, especially when I do rollbacks, you know, what have I said and what have I just thought about saying? <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're going to paint our little pieces here today. And, uh, oh, we, we did have a bit of a sunrise this morning. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Uh, maybe what we should do is, uh, I'm going to save the sunrise for an insert later on during the episode. Uh... Let's, let's just sort of roll back and see how it is that we got to this place. This is the last of the eight binocular units. And uh, I've probably spent about an hour altogether doing this. And... Uh, I, I would say they, they are definitely going to be better than they were. They're not going to be perfect. Um, the hard part, I would say, is not accidentally breaking them off of the connection. There was one of them that I, that I actually had weakened pretty bad. And I sort of glued it back on with extra thin. Well, it, it, it just sort of flopped over and I could tell it was just about ready to come off. Now I had I had wanted to be able to show this being done with a macro lens, but it's just uh, too awkward and too finicky to get me and the and the macro lens all lined up at the same time, and then to be able to accurately scrape the uh, flashing off. And that, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just scraping it off. Um, I I used the sharp side of the blade for this because. I wanted to be able to put as little pressure down on the part as possible. And I found that if I do it on the, with the back of the blade, then I had to put more pressure on, on the part to be able to scrape off the flashing. Anyway, I, th I think we're pretty, pretty much done here. Uh, at, least, at least for the binocular units. I still have the, uh, the uh, floodlights to go, or searchlights. Uh, anyway. I'll do that next. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now the flashing on the searchlights is, I would say it's, it's practically non-existent in comparison to the optical, the uh, binocular units. Um, I'm not seeing any seam down the sides where, where they mold pressed together so I don't know what happened there because you know the uh, the optical units were only about eight inches in, in, in a different place on the sprue so I, I guess maybe when the press came together or the molds came together there was maybe a uh, maybe a little piece of dust or something holding it slightly apart and it just anyway you know what I mean I think uh, now I, I was just looking at this here and I'm, I'm thinking that in all likelihood I might be able to reposition. Okay, I'm just snipping right across the very top right now. Being very careful not to cut too low. And yet, cut low enough that I don't have to do a whole bunch of trimming off later. Okay, now that's, this piece should be able to come off, come away. There we go. Alright. Now, I, I don't really see anything that that I need to do here, except maybe take the tiny micro burrs off the top where I just nipped it. Okay, I'll uh, I'll uh, 
reposition here with the macro lens and uh, we'll try and cut these ones on camera. At least we'll, we'll have had something, right? Okay, <clears throat> normally when I nip something off I bring the cutter in from the front but we're going to try and bring it in from the back and I'm going to try and have it so that it's going to be horizontal with the top of the there's one two three Okay, now we'll get rid of this piece here, but you can't see me doing it because it's out of field of view. All right. Yeah. And we'll just sort of clean the tops up there. Now, I really have a lot of fun when I'm doing the two camera thing. And it's, uh, it's fun syncing them up. Even though the Z9 runs twice as fast as the 850, it runs exactly twice as fast. So the two cameras can be synced up to within a sixtieth of a second. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's not as hard as you would think once you get onto it. Okay, now I'm going to try not to bump anything here. And you should have seen from the snapshots how I have tried to keep this so that it always stays in focus for the macro lens and I'm just gonna very carefully try and do the tops here I know there's, there's people that really cringe when when they use the file but I find that if I'm careful I, it, it works pretty good Now what, what's happening is I'm sort of smearing the plastic forward there and then I'll just kind of Okay, now where's my toothbrush here? Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. For the, for the most part, I, I think I got it there. So let me check the monitor. Well, it's better than it was. Now, I, I know if I wanted to make it, you know, a lot, a lot better, I just use the fine sanding stick here. And, and that'll, that'll help. I think, I'm, I think this sanding stick's about ready to be replaced. I should put some 1,000 grit sandpaper on it or something. Okay. All right, now you should be able to see that the flashing or th from the scene that should be sticking out the sides here, I can't see anything. Now if I can't see anything, then, then why worry about it? So we'll just leave it attached to the, to the uh, sprue like this and I'll paint it. And I, I think, you know, I might be able to do some painting on camera too. That'll be kind of fun. Okay, I had thought that possibly we'd be able to do a little painting this evening, but once again, the time has gotten away. So we got six searchlights to do and eight binocular units here to do. Uh, and I'm going to be using the 56. But uh, I should really clean up anyway. It's uh, getting pretty junky here. Thank you, Jeff. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's call it a night here, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. And hopefully, I'll be able to get a much earlier start, and maybe we can get some more done. And I've got an idea for how to uh, uh, paint these uh, uh, with the macro lens so that they can be rotated and stay in uh, 
in focus. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, okay, see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And uh, I was noticing when I was checking my comments and what have you that uh, Peter from Oz Scale Modeling has got his Yamato. Yeah, the 1 200 scale Yamato. I am so jealous. Now, <laughs> I don't think it's even available here in Canada yet. At least, at least I haven't heard anything back from the hobby store. Now, the reason I'm uh, trimming this down is because my, my plan is to put it in this, uh, in this clip here so I can rotate it and keep it in the center of the field of view. I'm just, just trimming it down just a little bit here. I like to try and do everything on camera if I can. So that's why I sometimes seem to be holding stuff a little bit, you might say a little bit on the awkward, awkward side. Um, hey, I broke one off. Well, I'll, I'll glue them back on. Uh, the reason I'm going to glue it back on, whoops, is, is because, um, if I try to grab it on the base with this alligator clip, um, I'm going to be covering up part of the pedestal. So I'm just going to quickly do that now. Yeah, that was stupid. And yeah, I had to show the whole world too. Now, I do not know if I am actually capable of doing something off camera. It seems. Now, I want to give you a perspective here before we get going. All right. And uh, I've got one of uh, Gabe's... Uh, I was going to say mini Q-tips, but it's not. It's one of those little swab things. So if things get out of hand, I can maybe use it. And what I'm going to do here... Uh, where's my tweezers? Okay, now where's my other glasses? Okay, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to create a little bit of sprue goo on the top of this uh, piece of sprue and uh, and then I'm going to see if I can't just drop that down I'm noticing that it, it kind of moved on me a bit here now I'm using the extra thin quick setting Okay, I, I believe that's starting to dissolve. You can't see me doing it, but I'm putting a little bit on the bottom of the... Alright, now is this going to work or not? Very carefully here. Nope. I wonder if I was to use uh, CA glue. Let's give it one more try here. If I hold it up with my finger and I put a little bit of pressure on. Okay, we're going to try uh, the CA quick setting. What I have here now is the Bob Smith Industries Instacure. Okay, I'll reinforce that in a minute.
Okay, the one that we're going to paint first is the one that we just glued on. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to break it off and have to do it all over again. Now, this thing slides around real easy. So we're going to add some heavy stuff. I know this uh, doesn't look very high tech, but uh, it should work. pieces of uh, silicone rubber here. Okay, so the idea is that when I'm, I'm turning it, I'm not going to be sliding it all over the place out of the field of view for the macro lens, which we should maybe put on right now. Uh, have I got my paint and everything ready to go? Oh, where's my brush? Here's the brush. Okay, I think we're just about ready to go here. And, and this was the paint that I'd used, uh, the jar that I'd used uh, the other day when I was touching something up. can't remember what it was, but it worked really well. Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping it'll work well, really well. I do have another jar that has a little bit more in it. This one has very little in the bottom. Um, I wonder if I should maybe put it in the paint shaker. Although I don't think, it, I don't think it'll actually help. Um, I don't know if you notice, it's kind of stuff is kind of, well, why don't I do this? Well, I do believe this is going to sort of work. As long as I remember to not have it like this. Um, Okay, we'll start out like here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to uh, reposition and uh, I think once that's dry it's going to be alright. Alright, let's do another one. Okay, we'll let that dry, and uh, after the paint has uh, done its shrink wrap thing, we'll see how it looks. Now I can't really put this 
sprue on my rotating system very good here. So we're just going to kind of scrub it in here. I should maybe be opening the other jar. One of the viewers pointed out that these, these uh, what I was calling search lights, are actually signal lights because you can see the uh, the louvers, you know, on the front here, which I do not want to fill with paint, otherwise they're going to lose their detail. And, uh, yeah, my paint is kind of on the thin side, you might say. Not too worried about the back, that's not going to be seen. I will get it later. Doesn't seem to be going on too good, does it? sure glad that this stuff shrinks when it uh, dries. Okay. Like I mentioned before, we'll we'll take a we'll take a nice close look at these after. I think that I mentioned this before maybe a year or two ago, and that was I can remember President Richard Nixon saying something to the effect of, I want to make it perfectly clear. And in fact, it, it was kind of a sort of, they sort of made a joke about it. He, he used to say that a lot. Let me make this perfectly clear or something to that effect. Anyway, I want to make it perfectly clear that I will not be using this 56 on any of my other 200 scale ships, which right now are only the Iowa. I was I was listening to Jason this morning. He was uh, mentioning how his stash is made up of about 250 models. <laughs> I commented back to him and I said, and here's me with just one model in my stash. <laughs> yeah, the Iowa. I will not use the 56 anywhere on the Iowa. Let me make it perfectly clear. Now right here on this gun platform goes one of those, uh, I believe it's a 50 caliber quad guns. Remember we made a bunch of those for the uh, for the hood. Uh, and. Uh, uh, Jim Steen just posted a very interesting picture that was taken by the, the cameraman would have been standing right here looking this way. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and dig that out and show it to you in tomorrow's episode. Um, I'm going to be cutting today's episode off now. 
later on this afternoon I'm going to try and find this photo etch here uh, because uh, we, we can't paint we can't paint this until all the pieces are glued on otherwise uh, yeah, the, the, when I try to touch it up, it's just not going to match. Um, now, now these these pieces of photo etch, I, I don't know, they almost look like ladders, but I, I don't think they are. Well, we'll see when we when we nip them off. I, I honestly haven't seen them yet on the sheet, so I don't know exactly what they what they do look like. Um, and it it could be that they they are going to be uh, hard to put on and inconsequential, and I'll, I might eliminate them all together. We'll just see how it goes. Um, anyway, I'm going to have to say thanks for watching everybody and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.